Hi, I'm Mark Porter McGee. I'm Chief Operating Officer of CONCAN, and I'm Campaign Manager of this year's legislative campaign, which we're calling Our Race to the Top. This is my fourth and final Mark Madness video update, and we've had an incredible one. So let me just take you over to the diagram, and we'll, we'll explain how much progress we've made. This is not that diagram. This is a diagram for the uh, March Madness, and I won't even try to explain that. But let's walk you over to the Mark Madness diagram. We started this campaign with three critical ideas to win Race to the Top in round two. Money follows the child for charter schools to fix our unfair funding formula. Uh, superstar principals to help remove the barriers to getting great principals in every Connecticut school. And measuring effectiveness, which is all about building a data system that finally links the progress students are making to their teachers and principals. And you know, for a lot of organizations, they come up with great ideas, but they don't have a plan for getting them through to bills and becoming law. And because we have this growing education reform movement in Connecticut, because we have you, we've made a tremendous amount of progress in the past couple of months. All three of these bills found legislative champions and were turned into bills that have gotten a hearing in the last two weeks. And yesterday was the deadline for the Education Committee to vote on bills and vote them out of that committee. And I'm pleased to report that two of these bills actually got the votes to come out of that committee, which is a tremendous victory. They're one step closer to becoming law. Superstar Principles was actually voted out of the Education Committee and directly for a floor vote in the Senate and the House. And Measuring Effectiveness was voted out of the Education Committee to the Appropriations Committee. And we're going to be working on making sure that gets out of the, out of the Appropriations Committee and gets the floor vote it deserves as well. Unfortunately, our Money Follows the Child bill for charter schools did not get a vote. And that, that means that it's going to be really hard, but we're going to keep fighting to make sure that that bill gets the vote on the floor it deserves as well. And it's, it's just been an incredible month, and I've been so pleased to be able to bring you these video updates. And I really appreciate all your support as advocates, and I hope you'll take a moment to contribute to our campaign today to help power us through to May 5th. And I look forward to engaging with you in the coming months to make sure that we win Race to the Top when we submit our application on June 1st. Thank you.